What is the most memorable moment you shared with a stranger who you never saw again? I was about 10 years old and I had a pair of Heelys and they were the coolest ducking thing on the earth. I would roll all over on those things and thought I was hot shit. We were in China, spending a few weeks in Beijing. I was rolling around in Tiananmen Square, hit a crack and lost one of the wheels. I looked around for about an hour, but to no avail. I was probably visibly bummed, as my Heelys, the things that made me hot shit, were now ineffective and basically ruined. The next morning, I was walking through the square on the way to meet my friends, and an older gentleman ran up to me and stopped me he had found my wheel. He said that he had seen me rolling around and saw me looking for the wheel after I fell. He saw that I gave up, and stuck around for another hour to keep looking after I left. He came there the next morning with no expectation that I'd pass through, but wanted to be there just in case. I'm not sure who was happier, me that I got my will back or him because he didn't think he'd see me in literally the world's busiest square. I said thank you and, that was about it. We both had places to be and that was that. I found a rock formation that looked like a dick and balls in a cave in Vietnam. I laughed and pointed at it, some Chinese tourists started doing the same thing and then some Russian tourists followed suit. Great bonding because no matter what, phallic-shaped objects are funny. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. That's not a boner. It's a cock. NYC bar, I was on a first date and there was an old guy at the bar looked like an old fisherman from a novel and he was convinced my date and I were already married. He went on and on about it. We said we weren't married and he told us we were meant to be together and would be married a long time. He talked with us for a good 15 minutes about this. My date and I did get married about a year later and have been together almost 25 years now. I'm pretty sure your husband time traveled back to that night as his future self. That's good. Should mean Teresa time machine in my future. At the very least is, maybe he lived an alternate future where he didn't marry you and was coming back to correct the horrible mistake he made by not marrying you. The day my dad died I was holding it together pretty well. Late that night I went to Target to have a moment to just zone out, and buy a few groceries. As I got to the check stand with my arm full of stuff I dropped a container of sour cream and it exploded everywhere. I completely lost control of myself and started to cry. The ugly cry. I was instantly surrounded by a group of women who just took charge of the whole situation. They helped me get everything paid for, cleaned up, and one lady even got a new sour cream. No words were spoken, but their compassion and take charge attitude has stayed with me since. A flock of moms following their instincts. Flock of moms. My new fave phrase. When I was at Disneyland a few years ago, a woman approached me out of the blue in the middle of Main Street and asked if I'd like to dance. I obliged her, and we spent the next few minutes chatting while her friends filmed us dancing. It turns out it was her birthday and she was traversing the park on a birthday scavenger hunt, and one of the items on the list was to dance with a stranger. I wished her a happy birthday, we said our goodbyes, and went our separate ways. I never even got her name, but it still makes me smile when I think about it. Ah. You're a good stranger smile. I had about a two-hour drive from Columbus to the Cleveland area. I tend to drive on the faster side, and therefore pass a lot of people. I noticed about 20 minutes into the drive that the car behind me was still the same one that got onto the highway right behind me. We ended up driving the entire two hours right next to each other or in front off behind each other. We created space and lanes to help the other pass the slower cars and made sure the other wouldn't fall behind. As I was getting off the highway, he honked his horn, gave me a big smile, and waved. It has been my favorite driving experience so far. I've had fellow travelers keep me company for hours as well. When they exit, it's like losing a friend. Same first name, same birthday, same interests and same work field. Saw them at a network creation event and never seen again. That seems like a momentary success, but long-term failure on the part of the network creation event. Edit, thank you. Golden Stranger. May your networking events be more successful than this one. I'm pretty sure I told this before, but I enjoy it, so here it goes. I was playing on my Nintendo DS in the subway when I caught a random connection. I looked up to see if I could spot the other person with a DS, and wound up locking eyes with this incredibly intense little boy who was seated a few benches away from me. Do you have Pokemon? he asked, and as it turned out, I did in fact have Pokemon. With that, our fate was sealed. There's this thing in the Pokemon games where, if you meet the gaze of another trainer on your journey, 
then you must do battle. I had just experienced this in real life. He destroyed me. All level 100s. Felt like I was an extra in the damn anime doing battle with the protagonist. Was he wearing shorts? Did he proclaim them comfy and easy to wear? Hashtag top percentage ratata. I was leaving the gym and walked down a long hallway, and didn't remember having any money on me. As soon as I stepped outside, I heard a coin drop, and looked down and two dollars seemed to have fallen from somewhere on me. It was strange because I didn't have any money on me, and it would have fallen off of me inside while walking, I thought. It rolls and I pick it up. I was confused because I don't know where the two dollars came from. I look up and there's a homeless man in a wheelchair playing harmonica who I otherwise would have passed by. I gave the two dollars to him. He said thank you, I said no problem. I began to walk away and he said good, and you? I played along and said, oh, good. Where did you learn to play harmonica? He proceeded to tell me that he used to play all sorts of instruments until he had his stroke, and showed me that one of his arms didn't work anymore. He was a nice guy, and it made my day a bit better. It was a nice and humbling moment. I was on a long late night bus ride. It was express so it made very few stops. The bus had maybe 10 people on it in total. Halfway through the trip it made a stop at a small town station so people could grab a snack or use a public restroom and maybe stretch their legs. I went up to the counter to buy what at that point was my dinner even though it was after 10 p.m. and when the cashier rang it up I passed a $50 bill to her and she told me that she couldn't make change. Defeated I went back to my seat on the bus. As everyone piled on and the bus drove away a lovely middle-aged lady walked up from her seat near the back and politely asked if I minded if she sat with me. I told her she was more than welcome. She sits and proceeds to unpack a small lunch bag. She then split the entirety of her meal with me. She said she had been waiting for the washroom to clear out and had overheard what happened. She said, I've gone hungry in my life and it sucks. I wouldn't wish it on anyone, so you can share with me. When we were done I jokingly asked if she could break a $50 and we had a good laugh. She stuck with me for the remainder of the trip and was a very interesting lady besides being incredibly generous. I hope she is well. I was 13 and waiting for a taxi. It was raining and I had no umbrella, so I got soaked. This guy next to me sheltered me from the rain with his umbrella. We talked while waiting for the taxi and he was so easy and fun to talk to. Note, I was a shy kid with few friends so this was a unique event. After about 15 minutes another guy came up on his scooter. My guy told him that I was a friend of his and if he could drop me to my destination. So yeah, I just climbed on this stranger's scooter and took the lift home. Perhaps that was dumb looking back on it. Anyway I still think of this guy and the kindness he showed me to this day even though I don't even know his name or remember his face frown. I had a similar story. I was going to a university party with a friend and there were a few people with cars there. My friend knew them, we all started chatting and they offered a ride to a bar. The party was kind of weak so we were like sure, why not? The twist, inside the car I realized my friend thought I was the one who knew them. Yes, we were inside a car with a bunch of strangers who weren't even from the university, and I already had noticed those people were already near their 30s. After a moment of disper and holding firmly to my organs, Brazil is a violent place, we arrive at the bar and end up having a pretty good time, those people were really nice and even paid some beers for us. Never saw them again. Ah, this is kind of sweet. Oh. It's in Brazil. I met a well-dressed older gentleman at a train station in London, he struck up a conversation about the departures board, and being a 20-year-old woman I was hesitant to talk back, but I liked chatting to people and decided to keep the convo going. He ended up being extremely easy to talk to, I ended up telling him I was waiting for a train to take me to the airport so I could see my boyfriend in Hong Kong whom I hadn't seen for months, and he ended up telling me all about his life and his amazing family, and just be all round charming. He was in London for the day to pick up a passport so he could whisk his wife away on holiday, and he just made me smile the way he was so smitten with her. He ended up leaving after about half an hour, and when he left he took my hand and kissed it, telling me it's so beautiful to see a young woman in love. I never caught his name, but he'll always remember him.